What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today we do have some market talk. We have some all this market, all this market nonsense going on. So yeah, if you guys would please drop a video, I mean drop a like. This is the video. Make sure to smash that like button because that'll be greatly appreciated. Let's get 120 likes in this video. And also, you guys could please drop that sub, man. We're getting closer and closer to 10k. I do have work today. This is pre-recorded, so prices may not be the same. Um, cards might come out, but still, we're gonna post this video for you guys because you need to make MT, so do I. Um, let's get into it. So, if you guys don't know, um, but also, I am selling MT on Twitter. So, if you want MT, hit me up because I have the cheapest, the fastest, reliable prices around the, the globe like, straight up reliable. I'm bugs, bro. I'm about at 10k subs, and you guys are golden. So, without further ado, man, let's get in the video. Um, there's really a lot to talk about, there's also not a lot to talk about. So, we're going to talk about some stuff that you might understand, some stuff that you might not. So now, I want to talk about one thing. These Prime Packs are gone in 4 days and 11 hours, which means they will expire on a Thursday. Which means we might get content Thursday. These expire right about now, while as you're watching this video. What that means, they're gonna, probably going to get some new Spotlight Sims. They're probably going to be terrible. Like, this Spotlight Sim right here is the most garbage content I've ever seen. When I, I literally woke up from my sleep... And I was going to post a new content video and I'm like, bro, I'm going back to sleep. This content is literally garbage. This this is the worst content I've ever seen. Um, Nate Thurman. If you use Nate Thurman, I, I don't know what you're doing. Like, stop. Um, but that's not the point while you're here. Let's talk about this, man. You want to make MT right now. First off, obviously the auction house glitch. But second off, the freaking diamond filter. It's so damn money. Um, Right there. Oh, yeah. Um, this filter is so good, man. I'm going to make so much MT sitting on this filter. And honestly, what you guys should be doing right now, should you sell your card? Should I sell this card? What the hell do I do, Bugs? I'm going to tell you in this video what you should be doing. So I'm going to say this clearly. Do not ask in the comments because I'm literally going to go over every aspect right now in this video. Should you sell your cards? Here is what I'm going to tell you. Depending on what card. Whatever card you want to drop, whatever card you want to sell, this is what I'm going to tell you, and it's clear. Do not sell your cards between 12 and 7 Eastern. It is the biggest risk you will ever take. Never. If you sell your card at 12 and the market crashes at 1, goodbye. If you have Shaq. Like, for instance, I personally have came to the conclusion that Sunday is the best day to sell. So, Sunday is the best day to sell, or somewhere midweek, maybe a Tuesday or Wednesday when they don't drop content. Buzzer beaters don't really affect the market. Only thing that really affects the market is, like, Flash or some crazy promo, like Fan Favorites or whatever. But at this stage, it's hard to crash because the Opals. The Opals are so OP. So, when markets crash now, it's pretty much based off the Pink Diamonds. Now, since it's based off the Pink Diamonds, how are you going to make MT? Focus on the Pink Diamonds, man. You're going to focus on the Pink Diamonds. You're going to make a lot of MT, especially if you don't have that much. If you only have exactly the amount of 144k like I do, you're going to make some decent MT if you just literally listen to my video. It's simple. So, should you sell your cards? Here's the question. Um, I would recommend selling your cards, like I said, between 12. No, don't do it before. Don't do it 12 and 7. And here's another thing I'm going to talk about because you are going to make so much MT this way. So, ready? The market dies, right? What you want to do to make so much MT off your cards. So this is my theory and it's literally so fast as all my subs have been doing it and been telling me about it. The market inflates so hard after the market breaks. It is crazy. Like I literally sold my Giannis for 680k. Let's look at his price because it's not even close. I literally have a post on Twitter. 680k for Giannis. He's 457 with an hour left. He probably goes for 550, 500, 400 some days. But let me tell you something. The fact that that card is going to sell for 680k rings a bell. Shaq is selling for a mil. Dude, the market inflates so hard after this auction crash. And I don't know if it's ever going to happen again. It didn't happen today. I don't know if the bots, the MT bots, 
Um, the website bots are taking over and they're trying to switch it up on us, but it is Sunday. Not a lot of market movement on Sunday, which probably means it's not going to crash. It's not going to glitch. Usually it crashes the best on like Friday and Thursday. You're going to make a lot of MT. If you don't know what the market crash glitch is, I have so many videos on it. Go check it out. But the point is, sell your cards directly after it glitches. So literally, once you see... Once, like literally, once you see the market and it says like the minutes is at two hours and whatever, throw up your cards, throw up your cards, throw up your cards ASAP. Because why do I say this? They're going to see your cards. They're not going to go poof. You're posting them now. It, the, the cards already went poof between hour and two hours. So if you post it at four hours, they're going to see the cards. The bids are going to go crazy because there's a huge gap between an hour and two and a half hours. It's literally the most money method and you're going to make so much MT so so much mt off this method and i promise you it's money not only that bro if the auction house glitches again and you have millions of mt you're going to make millions of mt it's the simplest thing i did it with Shaq. i did it with Giannis. i did it with vince carters i did it with mjs sometimes you get outbidded and if you do get outbidded make sure you do not press go to do not do not press auction outcomes if you press auction outcomes you lose the card because you want to keep this card in your active bids at all times. So let's say I bid on a Shaq for 500k. He's poof on the auction. Nobody could see him. The auction's glitch. Go to all active bids and you bid on it again and you do not. If you have not enough MT, you got to somehow get your MT together and do so. Because if you don't, you're not going to be able to bid on this and you're going to lose out on a 600k Shaq. When he goes for a million, make 300,000 profit that easy. Simple money cash. So overview right now. Um, there's opals. Like I said, market's not going to crash on opal wise, only pink diamonds. Opals are too valuable. Opals are too rare. The chances of you pulling opals are probably 1%. So with that being said, like I said, when the market crashes and you're like, Oh, the market didn't crash, bro. Look at the pink diamonds. Cause they crash the most and you can make a lot of MT off them. For instance, this Gary Payton, if you have him in your set, you might go ahead and sell him. Because he's actually that expensive. I don't even know that 96 Giannis is outdated at this point. I don't even think he's worth it. I don't think any of the spotlights are worth it. But there's just so many cards. Like, how to make MT right now? It's simple. These cards, these bum heat checks are going for all over 3,500. Every single one of them. They're out of packs. They're extinct. If you guys aren't going for collector level, and you have some of these sets almost completed, <coughs> like me... I'm about to go sell them. I'm not going to get AD. I, I I didn't grind enough hard. I didn't grind hard enough for AD. I don't play the game that much. I really just work the auction. Like to get AD and D Wade, you need so many offline cards. So many of these cards. Like you need to do the spotlight sims. You need to do this. You need to do that. And I, I just have no time to do so. You also need millions of MT. So honestly, what I'm going to do probably, I'm probably going to try to get to the token collector right here. And then I'm going to sell every single heat check back. And make so much MT. But if you really want AD, you could fill up. If you have like 10 mil MT, 5 mil MT, you could fill up these sets and then just sell them right back and possibly make MT. Probably gonna lose MT, go off reduction and stuff. But I just want to show one card. I don't know why he's so rare. This Udonis Haslam is so expensive. If you have him, go ahead and sell him. Please, please, for the life of bugs, sell him, sell the mellow, whatever these cards are, these bum cards, bro. If you want to make MT, bro, sell these cards. Like Jason Williams Emerald, freaking Eddie Jones Ruby. Like what is going on? These cards are garbage. These are day one cards that are just going for MT because of the collection. The collection's 25 tokens, bro. They only want this for collector level. Do it, bro. Kids are starting to buy MT and do collector level and sell it back. Like that's the new wave right now. A lot of people have been doing that. Like I know a lot of people that buy 3 mil MT and just sell it right back and possibly make profits off of it. And I'm just saying, man, to make MT right now, it's so simple. You sell your cards while the market's inflated, right when the auction house glitch happens. You try to work the auction house glitch if you can't, whatever. Just throw up your cards, throw up your diamonds, throw up your pink diamonds, whatever you want to do. I like throwing up the opals because the opals go for a lot more and really rare pink diamonds that are bid. Usually the cards that go for bid after the market inflation work out better. There's a lot to be doing right now, literally. So right now, what I'm going to say is sell your cards of the market inflation sell your old cards make the mt thing bugs later and that's all we got for your video i hope you guys enjoyed literally this is simple i just explained mt making methods to you guys simply simply you don't understand it hit me up on twitter that's it hope you guys enjoyed the video have a good one Peace.